is Ricochet leaving WWE. Plus, a new champion was crowned at NXT Battleground. Plus, TNA talent and TNA officials were in attendance at Battleground as well. It's all in the Cultaholic Wrestling News right now. So yesterday, Ricochet was the talking point in the wrestling world, as it looks like he could be ricocheting elsewhere. Very good. Um, it has been reported previously that Ricochet's WWE deal is expected to expire in the coming months. Now, you might think not so unusual because we've heard reports of that happening to various WWE superstars recently, only for them to then re-sign with the company. However, a new report from PW Insider has revealed that he will likely not be signing a new deal with the company. Uh, he's given his notice uh, and been very open about his intention to leave since, uh, this, well, since his contract's due up this summer. He's been speaking very openly about it, according to reports. Uh, Ricochet signed, of course, with WWE back in 2018 and was part of NXT. He became a North American champion there. He won the Dusty Classic with Alistair Black. Mm. Had some success on the main roster as well with the IC title and the US title, the Speed title uh, as well, chucked in there for good measure. But the one thing I think that has followed Ricochet through his time in WWE is, is inconsistency. Yeah, yeah. If, just when you feel like they're getting behind him and there's a bit of momentum there, it just sort of stops and for whatever reason whether it's creative indifference you just don't see that capitalized upon no and i think it's i think it's particularly a shame at the moment because ricochet has always had it in terms of his athleticism and his moves in the ring he is a world leader in terms of high flying wrestlers isn't he but um in terms of uh his mic work his character work i think recently he's noticeably stepped that up and in his matches he's conveying more emotion and everything so it's quite a shame because i feel like as you say, it always feels like he's on the cusp. And again, he's reached that point where if they got behind him with this Triple H-led creative direction, I think this could have been really a step up to the next level for Ricochet. But as these reports indicate, he, he is likely not going to re-sign. And, and, and how concerned are WWE or how aware are WWE that Ricochet won't stick around? Well, Five will select is saying that there are plans being put in place creatively to write him off the show. This is where we saw uh, it was taped on SmackDown Friday. Uh, Andrade has become the new WWE Speed Champion. Really only a couple of weeks since Ricochet won that tournament to become the first WWE yeah. Speed Champion, which came as a surprise. Uh, but Fightful also saying that that is just part of the puzzle here. Uh, we're told by sources in WW Creative there are already other pitches on the table to effectively write Ricochet off WW TV if needed. We're told among those, a creative plan was pitched for Raw that would see Bron Breaker take Ricochet out. Now, of course, with all creative plans, they are often change, uh, especially when they've been reported about. They will move them along a little bit. Mm. But Bron Breaker and Ricochet have been... Uh, I've been dancing on Raw lately, and I've enjoyed some of the, the build-up to this, but it could potentially be Ricochet's swan song of a storyline. It could, and, and especially because Bron Breaker hasn't just been portrayed as a new heel on the roster, but a particularly destructive one, one that Adam Pearce is reluctant to put in. The King of the Ring tournament, for example, he wants to keep him on a tight leash, and I think the implication is because he knows just how dangerous Bron Breaker can be. And what better way, I guess, to to portray Bron Breaker as this particularly destructive, maybe even Lesnar-esque heel is by, you know, having him write someone off permanently. I literally drove Ricochet out of the mm. company with my spear that breaks the sound barrier. Mm. Uh, in terms of what happens next then, so the summer comes around and Ricochet's contract ends and he sticks to his guns and he departs the company. Where could Ricochet land? Uh, well, Fightful are again reporting that it, is, it could well be AEW. They've said that AEW staff and talent backstage this past week were talking about the possibility of Ricochet joining the company. Uh, they haven't heard, uh, Fivel haven't heard that there have been official talks of that sort. Ricochet is still currently under contract with WWE and Fivel are told that nothing is an impossibility. But as of Friday, all indications were that Ricochet had decided to leave the company. In addition to AEW, they were also told that New Japan is expected to be interested in Ricochet as well. Um, New Japan obviously is where is where Ricochet I guess um, he was already making a name for himself, obviously, but then broadcast that to an even wider audience. These matches he had, particularly with Will Ospreay over in New Japan. That one in, mm. in New Japan in the Super Juniors, I think it was. Yeah. It was Will Ospreay and Ricochet. It was a match that broke the internet mm -hmm. uh, many, many years ago. And a match that weirdly led to a, f uh, a fight between Will Ospreay and Vader. It did, <laughs> of it did. all things. Yes. But it, but, and Will Ospreay has been very vocal as well about potentially 
having Ricochet uh, out, outside of WWE. Whilst, of course, Will is keen to, to compete against Ricochet again, he says that he says there are other places in the wrestling world that would respect Ricochet's talents much more. And it's expected that many companies are going to be vying uh, to sign him up as well. And I'm not surprised. I think he's a, I think he'd be a, a gain for any roster. Mm -hmm. And I, I know when we've talked about when WWE and AEW guys' contracts expire, there's a lot of times where I've said, oh, I could see them just staying in WWE. I think I've said for several weeks now that when there was talk of Ricochet's contract expiring, I said I, I said I could see him going to AEW mm. and finding a future there. I feel that he would, I think, under that system, uh, whilst, you know, whilst there is always concern that wrestlers don't get showcased in the best way, you kind of get this new toy syndrome a lot of time mm -hmm. with AEW. But if there's a way they can sort of work through that and keep the momentum, Ricochet could be a real get for AEW. Yeah, and I think one of the first things that they possibly would do if he were to join would be the latest instalment in his now sort of decade-long feud with Will Ospreay because <laughs> yeah. uh, they've had so many great matches all over the place and they've all, a lot of them have had like a signature moment. There was the one in, in New Japan which which kind of announced Ricochet on a global stage and Will Ospreay and that style of wrestling. The one in that I saw firsthand in WCPW where the rope broke, the top rope, and that was them proving that they could have a great match literally without going to the top rope. Uh, they had one in the semi-finals of a tournament we put on where they both charged at each other at, at the bell, still wearing their ring jackets and everything. They always like to give each of their matches a different type of flavor. And I think that doing that in AW might be too big a proposition for Ricochet to resist. It might very well be. <clears throat> We're going to keep an eye on Ricochet at coltaholic.com. Last night we had NXT Battleground. Thank you for staying up late with Ross to watch mm. that one as well. Uh, an interesting card received online. I think there was a lot of hype going into it. There was, there was a general consensus that the Ethan Page and Trick Williams match maybe didn't hit the marks that people were hoping for. Right. Uh, and this follows Trick's feud with Carmelo Hayes, again, maybe not being as grand and epic as it seems to have been built up to. They, they are heavily getting behind Trick Williams, flattening everything in his path. And mm. while Trick Williams is an incredibly over babyface, I do worry that maybe he'll be the next Cena or Roman Reigns because they're so they're, they're portraying him as so dominant. He's beating these guys in under quarter of an hour. Uh, and while towards the end of that match, Ethan Page was distracted by arguing with the referee, it wasn't entirely decisive. It's still, I've rarely seen them get so decisively behind a new top babyface as, as Trick Williams on NXT. Uh, the TNA conversation was all over Battleground as well. But before we get into that, we had a new champion crown. We did. Uh, uh, it was the ladder match to crown the inaugural NXT Women's North American Champion. And that match was won by Kalani Jordan. She gave Mitchin a split-legged moonsault on a ladder before climbing a different ladder to grab that title and become the inaugural champion. Proving me wrong. <laughs> I think it caught a few people off guard with Kalani Fair Jordan enough. winning it, I think. Yeah. I kind of had Sol Ruka in mind yeah. for that one. That kind of felt right in my waters. I, I had Fallon Henley, but then uh, during the build switched to Jada Parker. Neither of them won. I was just convinced that the first mid-card sort of heel of a brand would be, uh, the first mid-card champion of a brand would be a heel, uh, but instead they've gone the babyface route. Kalani Jordan may be the most high flyery high flyer in the match alongside Sol Ruka, so mm. it kind of kind of makes sense that she would win a ladder match, I suppose. I'm not against the decision. Oh, no, but not I, at all. But I agree, I don't think she was the favorite necessarily going in. I think so as well. Uh, also, as we say, there was a strong TNA presence mm. uh, around NXT Battleground last night. TNA president Anthony Sissione, executive producer Ariel Schneerer, and Gay Gail Kim mm. were backstage at Battleground, marking Gail Kim's first time in WWE in over a decade, I think. Yeah, um, while Gail Platt's leaving Coronation Street. I know, it's all the Gales. I know. It's Gales <laughs> all the way down this week, and there was a Gale outside this weekend briefly. Quite windy, wasn't it? It was, it was just quite windy, wasn't it, Gale? Um, But no, it is interesting, isn't it? Because, because it, I guess this is a sign of TNA continuing to build this working relationship they've got going on with WWE. They're very keen to do so, and they've even left a couple of question marks in the, the NXT women's title match because it was Roxanne Perez and Jordan Grace. Uh, Jordan representing the TNA Knockouts Division as mm -hmm. Knockouts World Champion. And we got a little setup for a potential bit of crossover stuff in the women's division, didn't we? Yes, we did. Uh, because as uh, Tatum Paxley interfered in the match and attempted to steal the Knockouts Championship belt from ringside, she was stopped as she headed up the ramp by former WWE star Dana Brooke, now known in TNA as Ash by Elegance. Vic Joseph nearly came a cropper, didn't he? 
Yeah. I wasn't sure whether that was a bit that he did. Uh, maybe. Whether, it, it just as a way to kind of nudge, nudge, wink, wink, we know who that is. Mm-hmm. It's Dana, I mean, it's Ash by Elegance. What are you doing here? It was nice to see her, but. It was lovely to see her, uh, but she got walloped by Jordan Grace. In she it, did. Uh, attempting to save the knockouts title. Uh, Paxley and Grace, uh, Paxley and Ash got knocked down and it led to Jordan Grace's demise in that match. Now this Friday, TNA is presenting against all odds and we have an open challenge for the TNA Knockouts World Championship, which I think might be answered by Tatum Paxley. The seeds have been sown, haven't they? It mm. seems very much like she's obsessed with the belt, um, whether or not because it's a prestigious championship or just because it's shiny. She seems to like shiny just things. She likes shiny um, things. But yeah, it, that seems to make the most sense that she that wants to Ash that by Elegance. Challenge. It's almost like they've put Ash by Elegance in there as a little safety net in the event that they ah. can't get the Tatum Paxley thing to work out. Ash answering the open challenge is still storyline-wise a sensible thing to do. That would make sense as well. I'm excited to see what happens and excited to see what, uh, the, the card in general against all odds. Did you see the little digital exclusive with uh, Roxanne Perez after the show? And CM Punk. And CM Punk. I thought that was very interesting. They had a lovely little chatter in didn't they? And she yeah. called him a hypocrite. Punk interrupts an interview where Roxanne is gloating about her victory and says hey listen Roxanne, you're um, he says, you don't have to sell your body to the <laughs> night. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, he says um, he was very strong in his praise. He said look, your head and shoulders above everyone in this division your head and shoulders above everyone in the knockouts division you've proved it by winning but you got lucky and you need to concentrate on the belt and less on bragging and all this sort of stuff and yeah she went you're a hypocrite oh. <laughs> and he was like oh, oh <laughs> damn it <laughs> well I, 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 I tell you what she's she's going over me she knows she know drew mcintyre <laughs> <laughs> i'm buzzing for roxanne perez versus cm punk yes. in nxt stand and deliver for the nxt <sighs> women's championship it's going to be a good time absolutely i uh, had a lovely chat with cm punk's mate drew mcintyre last week uh, in which he said lovely things about joe hendry uh, and joe hendry has replied uh, you can listen to my exclusive chat with joe hendry on the cultaholic podcast feed in which he gives his thoughts on drew mcintyre and he gives is a bit of a reveal about something he wants to work on with Xavier Woods. Ooh, very interesting. Mm. Mm. That is waiting for you on the podcast feed right now. And for the latest wrestling news throughout the day, you can check out cultaholic.com. Stay safe. Love you. Bye.